Section 5.3 for AW Math 10 is non-parallel lines and transversals. So the first section we get into is non-parallel lines and transversals. The next section is parallel lines and transversals. First thing we need to know is a lot of terminology. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, definitions and stuff, but it's really, really important to know, especially for this type of geometry. So suppose you have two non-parallel lines. Here I have line one and line two. L1 and L2, and another line intersecting, many different angles are formed. So here I have my two parallel lines, and then I have the line that's intersecting those two lines. The line intersecting is called the transversal, and it just means an intersecting line that crosses two or more lines. First thing I have is vertically opposite angles. These are angles across from one another formed by two intersecting lines. So for example, I could have angle two, and angle 3. See any more? Kind of like an X. Well, look, angle 1 and angle 4. That's my AND sign. And angle 4. Any more? Yeah, I got a bunch down here. Angle 5 and angle 8 are vertically opposite. And finally, angle 7 and 6. So these are all vertically opposite angles right across from one another formed by what I like to call an X. So as soon as you see an X or a T, you have angles right across from one another. Corresponding angles, the next one, are angles in the same position in relation to the transversal and lines. So corresponding angles would be like this one, angle six here and angle two. They're both facing up and up, as like I like to kind of, I don't know, that's how I remember them. They both kind of face up, and angle 6 and 2 are in the same position of the transversal, so on the same side. So angle 6 and angle 2. Do you see any more? What about from angle 3? What would the corresponding angle be to angle 3? Right, angle 7. So angle 3 and angle 7 are also corresponding. Right, they're both facing down, and they're both on the same side of that transversal. Do you see any more? Let's get rid of some of these first. Hmm, well, let me see, what about angle four? What would be a corresponding angle to angle four? Angle four and angle eight on the bottom here. Right, angle four and angle eight. They both are on the same side and they're both facing down. And lastly, I would have angle one and angle five. Those are all corresponding, same side, same position. Alternate interior angles. These are angles that are between the two lines, but on alternating sides of the transversal. So here's my transversal. Here are my two lines, L1 and L2. They're angles that are between the two lines. So here is between the two lines. So I only have three, four, five, and six, but they're on alternating sides of the transversal. So if I pick angle three, what would an alternate interior? So it's gotta be on the inside, but it's gotta be across the transversal, right? angle 6. So these ones are quite different than corresponding angles. Another pair, angle 4, and the only one that's left, which is angle 5. Okay, so alternating alternating across that transversal, but in between the two lines. <clears throat> Next one I have, we're almost done, alternate exterior angles. These are angles that are outside the two lines, so I only have two up here and two down there not the inside, but on alternating sides of the transversal. Same kind of thing as before. So I'm only looking at angles 1, 2, 7, and 8. So if I look at angle 1, for example, what would be an alternate exterior angle? It's got to be on the outside, but it's got to be across, oh, right there, angle 8, right? Opposite side of the transversal and on the outside, and it alternates across. Also, I would have angle 2 and angle 7. What about interior angles on the same side of the transversal? So here we have angles that are between the two lines, but on the same side of the transversal. So again, here's my angle, here, here's my transversal T. And I have angles that are on the same side, two, four, six, and eight, but they have to be between the two lines. Oh, okay. So like angles four and six. So that's what they are. Angle four and six are interior angles 
on the same side of the transversal. Can you see any more? They got to be on the inside. Right, so angles 3 and 5. Oops. Angles 3 and 5. Those are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. All right, last definition here exterior angles on the same side. So these are angles that are outside the two lines, but on the same side of the transversal. So here I have outside angles up here and outside angles up there because they're outside of, not in between the two lines. But they have to be on the same side of the transversal. So again, here's my transversal. I have H down here is an exterior. What would be another angle that's exterior? Right, angle two, so angle eight and angle 2, and the last two would be angle 1 and 7. Right, because I have angle 1 up there and angle 7 down below. Alright, now just a few examples to go over. Let's classify these angles. So let's look here. Angle 5 and 8. Angle 5 and angle 8. Hmm, do you remember from the list above what those would be? Well, they're kind of across. There's an X here. So that means, oh, right, that's vertically opposite. Good. Okay. Next one. Angles 3 and 10. Okay, well, here is angle 3. Here is angle 10. Hmm, this is a tough one. Well, they both look like they're inside or in between these two lines here if I called this line 1 and this one line 2. Right, so I have that line there and that line there. They're in between. Oh, but look, I kind of have a transversal here that cuts through the two lines, right? And angle 3 and angle 10 are across. They're on opposite sides, right? Okay, so that means that angle two and, or angle 3 and 10 are alternate. And they're on the inside, so they're interior. So they alternate across the transversal. And they're on the inside, so they're alternate interior angles. Great. Now let's get rid of some of this stuff so we can look at the next one. Last one here is 9 and 10. So I have 9 here and 10 here. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. They're both... Well, if I counted this as my line 1, because that's where the angle is formed, and this one here is my line 2, so I have a line 1, and the line 2. They're both inside, right? They're both between those two lines. But what else? They're also both, if I call this my transversal, again this line that cuts through the two lines is my transversal, they're both on the same side. So these would be their interior, I know that, interior on same side of the transversal. So there is classifying the angles based on where they are. Let's look at one more example here. Last one. Again, classifying the angles. So the first one, angle 1 and 2. I have angle 1 and angle 2. Hmm. You know what I think those are? Those are supplementary. Angle 5 and angle 8. Let's see, angle 5 and angle 8. Oh, okay, those are just vertically opposite. Because I have that X and I have uh, the angles that are right across from each other. Let's see here, angle 1 and angle 8. Okay, well here are my two lines. Here's my L1 and my line 2. That means that this here is my transversal cutting through the two. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff here so I can see more clearly. And I have angle 1 up here and angle 8 down there. They're both outside the two lines, if you notice. So that means they have to be exterior. And they are, oh look, they're alternating. So exterior, or we'll call them alternate exterior angles. I'll use alt for short. Alternate exterior angles. Good. Okay, let's 
look at the next ones. Next one I have is angle 4 and angle 6. So here's angle 4 and angle 6. If you notice these ones, they kind of face each other. That one faces that way, that one faces that way. They both look at each other. And they're both inside. So these ones are a little bit easier. Interior, because they're both on the inside. And they're interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Right, there's my transversal cutting through. And those two angles are on the inside interior angle. Great. Okay, let's look at the next two here. I have angle 2 and angle 8. Okay, well they're both on the outside, so they have to be exterior. Exterior, and they're on the same side. So exterior on same side of the transversal. We'll say trans for short. Okay, let's look at the next two, angles 3 and 7. So I have angle 3 here, 7 there. We haven't seen this one in a while. Look, they're both, they're both on the bottom of this line and the bottom of this line, so they're both in the same position. So what are those called? Right, corresponding. So those are corresponding angles. Last one, we have angle 3 and angle 6. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. So I have angle 3 and angle 6. Those are both interior because they're inside. What else? Right, they're alternating across the transversal. So interior, or what I would call alternate, so alt interior angles. Okay, so this is a great lesson to overview what the different types of angles are and how they work, what they all look like. So if you get stuck, just watch through the video again.